is asking about al-wasila. And usually, people, when they ask for about al-wasila, they are from the subcontinent, usually. And they're referring to asking Allah Azza wa Jal through the Prophet والسلام, as he is our wasila, as he is our wait for intercession. And unfortunately, this concept has, has uh, uh, um, not, it did not evolve. It caused them to go astray in their relationship with the Prophet والسلام, in the sense that they started calling the Prophet والسلام, to give us intercession or to intercede for us. They started asking Allah through the Prophet. So they swear, O oh Allah, I swear upon you through the right of our Prophet والسلام, upon you. And this is an innovation. No one has rights over Allah Azza wa Jal, not even the Prophet So you cannot swear through him. So this concept of wasila is an innovated concept. The Islamic legitimate wasila that is based over or through or from the Quran, the Sunnah, is divided into three types, as the scholars uh, uh, say it. The first one is to ask Allah through his beautiful names and attributes. Oh Allah, I ask you because you are the wealthy, the rich, the most powerful, grant me money, pay off my debts. Oh Allah, I ask you because you are the most forgiving, the most merciful, forgive my sins, have mercy on my father, etc. The second type is the type where you ask Allah through your good deeds, as in the hadith, well known hadith, where three were sheltering in a cave and a big rock came and blocked their exit way. So they started asking Allah through their good deeds. One of them uh, wanted to fornicate with his cousin and then he refrained from that and feared Allah. So Allah opened the a gate a little bit, but not enough for them to come through. The third one, ask Allah because of his kindness and being dutiful to his parents and not feeding his children before his parents. Allah Azza wa opened it a little bit. The third one, ask Allah by his uh, uh, giving the money and the fare that developed and grew so much to a laborer who worked for peanuts. But he, came, he did not take his wage, he did not take his uh, money. And he came a few years later, and the man invested that little amount and became herds of cows and camels and sheep, and he gave it to that, and then Allah. So you ask Allah by your good deeds. So you say, oh Allah, I ask you, because I pray Fajr on time every single day for your sake. Oh Allah, I ask you to do this and that. Oh Allah, I ask you because I love our Prophet, and I follow his sunnah that you make my child pass the exams, etc. So this is the second type. The third and final type is to ask Allah through the wasila, through the way of the supplication and dua and invocation of righteous living be a, a, a people. So I have a problem. I go to a, a sheikh, an imam, a scholar. Sheikh, make dua for me that my son is cured. He has a, a, an illness and he's hospitalized. And the sheikh says, oh, Allah Azza wa uh, cure his son. This is permissible. Only to be a living and to be righteous.